Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the text module. Today's episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. All right, so uh, we're going to be covering the uh, text module, everything that you need to know, how you can set up things on there. So this is going to be a series of Divi modules. So everything that you need to know about the modules, I will have a list of videos where you can choose which module you want to learn more from. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how the text module works. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to assume that you've already installed Divi and also WordPress. So let's start off by going onto a page and let me show you how the text module works. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new, and then I'm just gonna call this page text. Click on use the Divi builder. So I'm gonna build from scratch. And then over here, we have an option to either use the front end editor or this back end builder. So let's do everything here in this back end builder. It's quite easy. So I'm going to choose these two columns. It doesn't matter which columns you choose because what we're focusing right now is on the text module. So I'm just going to select these two equal columns and then I'm going to search for my text module and then select it. Now, I prefer working with the text settings snapped to the right. So I'm just going to click this little button here to snap to the right, just like that. So now I can do all my changes in here. Now, before we get started, you need to know that you can make your changes either inline or you can do it over here in the text settings. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say I want to add more text. So I can say here, more text. So as you can see, I'm actually doing it in here. This is fast if you want to do like quick edits, but you can also do some edits over here as well. So I'm just going to say more edits. And you'll notice that as I'm typing, it's also updating here on my, on this side. Okay. Right. So that's one quick little tip. And then if I make more adjustments here, you can see everything is being updated here on the left, which is great. Now with this inline editing, what you can also do is you can actually come in here, highlight the text. You can make it bold. You can make it italicized. You can even underline it. So this is a quick way of actually coming in here and making quick adjustments. Now, if you want to get rid of that, you can just, you know, click on uh, these uh, icons here to change whatever it is you want to change. And then over here, what you can also do is to highlight the text and add a specific color. So if I click here on this bucket, I can actually choose a color. And now you can see that it's been updated to red. Okay. Now, as you're working, make sure that you make uh, you save changes by clicking this button here. Otherwise, you're going to be losing your work. So right now, you can, as you can see, we've made some quick edits. But now let's say you want to add a heading onto this. So to do that, what you want to do is to go into the text settings. Now, what you, uh, to get into the text settings, you need to hover over this text area here. So if you click here on the module settings, it takes you back into your text settings and now you can make your edits. But for the heading, you need to come over here, highlight the text. By default, it's set to paragraph. So if you click this drop down, you can set this to heading one. And as you can see here, this is now changed right away. Now, while we are here in this text um, module, if you want to make further adjustments to this, you can come over here to the design tab. This is where you find all your various settings. So let's say you want to make changes to the heading. All you have to do is to go straight to the heading text and then choose heading one, heading two, heading three, depending on what heading it is that, uh, that you've chosen. So sometimes it's quite confusing which heading it is that you're working on. So let's say I select heading five and I start making changes here. Notice that what nothing is happening here because this is not actually heading five. So there's a quick tip <laughs> that I want to show you. And that is if you hover over here, you, you get to see this paintbrush. If you select it, you'll notice that over here, it automatically goes to H1, which is the header. And this is where you can start making your changes. So notice that when I start moving here, the text is getting smaller. Now it's getting bigger. So you can play around with it here how you want it. Okay, so let's make it nice and big like that. So this is 61. Okay, let's make it 60, round figure. Right, so now that you have this, there's also more options that you can do to this heading one. So notice here we have these colors. So to change colors to that, I'll just click here on this eyedropper tool 
and then I can just, you know, start playing around with my colors like that. Okay, so that light gray looks great. And if I scroll down here, you notice that there's more options. There's text shadows. So you can select your text shadow here. And with that text shadow selected, you can add a color. Now notice that just by clicking on this color here, that's, that color has been applied to my text shadow. Now, let's say you want to uh, adjust your, your text shadow. You can just use these sliders. Now, I prefer using these sliders because I can see in real time how my changes are being done over here. And also, remember, you can change your colors here anytime you need to. So as you can see, as I'm clicking through these colors, it's being updated. Okay, so you can choose any color that you want for that effect. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you can just click here on this icon. So as you can see, your text modules has a lot that you can do to it. Now, let's do something totally different. So I'm going to add a background to this. So I'm going to come over here back onto this tab, content tab, click on background. Now, let's apply a background to this. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And then I'm going to add my background color. So notice that I've just added a color and that color has filled in um, the, uh, the text. Right. So let's say you want to add some padding because obviously here there isn't enough breathing space around our text. To do that, you come over here to design. Now, here's a quick tip. Sometimes you can just uh, know what you want to do and then just search for it here. So let's say what we need to do here is padding. So I can start searching here. And then as you can see, my padding has come up. So I can activate my chains here if I need to make sure that I need the same padding both on the top, bottom, left and right. So I can either use these dials. So as you can see here, as I'm moving these dials, I can see in real time how much space is being applied. And this looks really nice. OK. So you can just take a look at it and that could be your design. But notice that we're just in the text module. We haven't even used anything yet. So there's a lot that you can do right here. OK, so let's do something different. I'm going to save this for now. So let's say you want to clone this. So cloning it is quite easy. There's a little icon here. If you just click it and there we go. We've just cloned it and you can drag this into position. Right. So with this one here, we're going to change the background and add an image to the background. So I'm going to click here on my module settings. And then again, I'm going to come to my background. And this time I want to get rid of this background. So delete that. And then let's add an image. So I'm going to click here on this third tab, click the plus button, and now we can add our image. So the image I'm going to go with is maybe this one here. Or maybe let's choose something a bit different. Let's go with, um, right, let's go with this. Upload an image. So now you can see my image has been uploaded onto uh, this background. Now, there's a quick thing that you can also do here, and that is you can um, add a gradient. So if I click this plus button here, you notice that a gradient has been applied. And if I scroll down here, you can actually place the gradient above the image by clicking this button here like that. So all you have to do now is to come over here and drag the sliders to start showing what is in the background. Okay, so let's add our color there, drag it down so we can see more of the cup. So these are various ways that you can play around with these design elements. So because our background here is a bit light and our text here is quite difficult to read, all you have to do is to come over here to design text and then we can change our text color here. So I'm going to start here with my heading. Let's make it white just like that. And then over here on the paragraph text, again, we're going to make it white. So this is how you can play around with these options to create different designs using the text module. Right, so we've covered all this. The next thing we're going to do now is to do what are known as animations. So over here, all the way down to the bottom, we can click here on animation. And there's um, several ones we can choose here. So let's say we can go with slide. As you can see here, that's the animation. We can bounce it. Okay, so let's say you want to go with that. Over here, this is where you can change, play around with the... Um, animation duration, animation delay. So you can, as you can see here, you can delay it with seconds. And you can also add starting opacity. So you can start from a, um, a very light color onto a full color. So as you can see here, there's quite a lot we can do with these uh, text modules. And um, 
Also, what is very important, which I almost forgot to show you, is to come over here, okay, and set our sizes for our mobile devices. So if I come over here to heading text size and I click this little icon, right, you notice that we have these two extra tabs, one for the tablet and one for the phone. So if I click on tablet, I get to get a view of how it's going to look like on a tablet and I can specifically change the size of my heading on the tablet. And if I come over here to the phone and let's say I want it much bigger or smaller, this is where I can make my adjustments just like that. Okay, so that's a quick handy tool. And this one is very important because as you're designing your websites, you want to make sure that your, your websites look great both on your desktop and mobile devices. Okay, so pretty much we've covered uh, what you can do with the text module. In the next video, I'll be also covering another module. I'm not sure what it is yet. So make sure you sign up and subscribe so that you get to see what all these modules do. And also, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi Blueprint course, a course which covers pretty much everything that you need to know about designing websites using WordPress. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.